Oh, good to be here. Uh, my grandmother used to give me baths until I was 18 years old, and I was finally big enough to fight her off of me. <laughs> a fr friend of mine, uh, some good news, a friend of mine is having twin children through a surrogate mother. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with a surrogate, that is when a woman Airbnbs her uterus. Which if uh, you're looking to make some cash renting a space that's empty most of the year, that's an option for you guys. Uh, people have been coming up to me all day uh, going, uh, hey man, are you high? You look high. Are you high? Are you high? Yeah, I'm high. I'm fucking high. <laughs> Quit fucking busting my balls about it. You guys uh, excited about 420 in a couple days? Yeah. I know, it's like, how more excited about weed can we get? Yeah, it's like, yeah, we're gonna celebrate weed on 420 again. You know, it's like, everyone's like, like weed is like the solution to everything. You, yeah. you have uh, sleeping problems? Have you tried smoking marijuana? Yeah. You have breast cancer? Have you tried smoking marijuana? Is weed paralyzing you and ruining your life? Have you tried smoking marijuana? <laughs> Maybe you're not smoking the right strain. Yeah, all this time I've been smoking, fuck my life up. All I had to do is switch to the strain, get my shit together. Get my shit together. That's a uh, sativa dominant hybrid of making yeah. the adult decisions yeah. and not living at your grandma's house at 35. I feel like like weed weed sells itself. It's it's great for the economy. It's like the best thing we ever did was make it legal. Like like if your if your weed shop is is failing, maybe people don't realize that you sell weed. You know, <laughs> maybe you have the wrong color cross in front of your weed store. People think it's a hospital. You know, I feel like I feel like somebody could literally shoot up a weed store. And people would still be lined up outside. Like, I can still buy weed, right? Yeah. I can, you guys still sell weed? You got that uh, free dab with the $5 pre-roll? <laughs> That's you guys, right? Man. Um, you, guys, you guys single? You guys uh, long-term relationships? Yeah. Man, I, yeah. I've been with Michael for, for six years now, and uh, you know what that means? We're about to dive into couples therapy. Uh, but uh, I am a budding stand-up comedian, so I, I can't afford couples therapy. So instead, we've just decided to watch episodes of Divorce Court. <laughs> and then just, just don't do the things that brought these couples to Divorce Court. First, thi first lesson, first thing I learned was I have to stop pimping women, you know, or at least keep my pimping to a minimum. I, 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 I don't understand how people, I mean, I mean, people that, that are dating, like I, I, I give it up to you guys, people that are trying to meet people, you guys are the soldiers on the front line. It's, it's fucking hard. It's fucking hard because like you're on these fucking dating apps and you're trying to meet people and all the guys are just trying to fuck, yeah. you know? All the guys are trying to fuck, and all the women are just trying to make fun of the guys. <laughs> or get married. It's, it's either one, and it's not even a conscious decision. They're just like swiping, they're just like, loser, cheesy, cheesy, loser. That's the guy, that's, that's him. He's perfect. <laughs> He's perfect. And it's like, like, I mean, uh, I travel a lot, and I feel like, like, dating on, on these apps, it's kind of like, um, it, I, I equate it to, like, when you're traveling, and you need to f get something to eat, and you're starving, so you, do, you, go, you go to your phone to try and find literally whatever's open. <laughs> and then you find yourself at this diner, and you don't know who's been inside this diner. <laughs> you don't know who shot the diner up before you got there. You don't know who this diner's fucking. You don't know whether this diner took a shower before you got there. 
I know that's disgusting. That's really gross, but also real. You could get an STD. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, me, me and my girl have been together for six years, and we're uh, we're doing couples therapy, um, which is like I went to we went to one session, and I realized that couples therapy it, it's a lot like hiring a personal trainer for your arguments with your significant <laughs> other. Like after couples therapy. <laughs> After couples therapy, our arguments were a lot more specific <laughs> and results oriented. I was like, yeah, okay. It was like, it was like taking the P90X of repairing your relationship. <laughs> um, I, uh, I watch a lot of porn, and I think that everyone in a, in a healthy relationship watches a lot of porn. <laughs> but uh, it's gotten to the point where, like, um, now I watch porn with a bowl of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> and, and peanut M&Ms sprinkled into the popcorn. <laughs> like, I put a lot of thought into the snacks that I, uh, right eat milk duds and whatnot. No, that's not true. I would, that's gross. Why would I do that? Would I really do that? Would I really like watch porn yeah. with a popcorn bowl? Yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> no, that's gross. You guys are gross. <laughs> hey, you guys are having a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I'm Jeffrey Feldman. Have a good night.